Hi, my name is Manzola. I'm Mrs. Shorga here. Hi, I'm Nancy. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Nice to meet you, too. Alright, so, um, first, well, first off, before we begin, um, I just want to let you know that I'm just going to, like, write down some information that you're writing, mm -hmm. just so that I, um, just keep track of everything and, and it helps me remember stuff. Mm -hmm. And that everything that we do talk here is all uh, confidential, nothing's going to mm -hmm. be really stout or anything, unless okay. I do feel that you're going to hurt yourself or hurt someone else, okay? Okay. Okay, so, um, Nancy, can you please tell me a little bit about yourself? Okay, so I'm the only daughter in my family. Mm -hmm. um, I'm currently in a relationship with my boyfriend, and um, my parents are against are are against it because um, he's not from the same race. Oh, okay, so you're dating someone that's mm -hmm. not from your own race, own kind, yes. and your parents they're they don't approve of that. Yes. Okay. So okay. Um, Besides from that, can you tell me a little about like your personal life? Like, what do you do? Like, do you go to school? You work? Something like that. Um, right now I'm currently working a part time job, and I'm a college student. Part time job, and you're a college student. Yes. All right. And so, what are the things you like to do? Do you like have a special hobby or subject you like? Um. I just like to hang out with my friends, my boyfriend. I hang out with your friends mm -hmm. and boyfriend. <laughs> so what are you going to school for? I'm going to school for art. Arts? Is that your favorite subject and hobby? Yes. Okay. I'll draw sometimes, I'll paint sometimes. But not, not that much because mm -hmm. I, I want to hang out with my boyfriend and friends more. Okay, so how long have you been with your boyfriend for? We've been together for six months. Six months so mm -hmm. far? Alright, that sounds like a good start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, how do you know that your parents don't approve of you and your boyfriend? Well, they tell me that they don't approve of um, me being with him. So. They tell every, you? Yeah, every time he calls or whenever I'm about to leave the house, mm -hmm. they always tell me that I should break up with my boyfriend. Oh, okay, so they really don't agree with you dating. Yes. Mm -hmm. And have you, like, talked with them about, you know, like, about him in general, like he's a nice person well, or something? I try, but they, they, they just don't want to listen because he's mm -hmm. not from the same kind. He's a different culture, mm -hmm. race. Different culture, mm -hmm. he's a different race. Mm -hmm. um, and are your parents, like, really traditional? They are, you can say. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what do you think you should do with the situation? Do you think you should continue dating him even though they disapprove, or do you plan on trying to make them think differently about how you're dating with well, different people from different kind of backgrounds? I don't want to break up with him, mm -hmm. and I don't know, my parents just don't want to listen too, so maybe I'll just keep it the way it is right now. <laughs> they don't want to listen? But yeah, they don't want to listen, and I don't want to break up with my boyfriend, so let's just see how things go, I guess. Or maybe you can help come up with a, I don't know, a solution for me. <laughs> okay. Um, let me just get some more information about mm -hmm. your parents, okay. because I feel that, um, that, you know, we live in a place where mm -hmm. the mainstream is all about, you know, dating different kind of people mm -hmm. and kind of stores like that. Um, does your parents work at all? Do they... Yeah, uh, both of them work full-time. Do they, like, see the other race or backgrounds, like, differently in that kind of way, too? Well, that I can't tell, but then... Mm -hmm. I think they're... I don't know, they're not racist or anything. They just want me to marry someone my own kind, because... Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe they'll understand me more and my parents more. Okay. So what I'm hearing is that um, you've been dating your boyfriend for six mm -hmm. months, and your parents they don't really they don't like the idea that mm -hmm. you're dating someone that's not your own um, background, mm -hmm. and they they are like constantly.
trying to tell you to break up with him and stuff like that mm -hmm. and you don't want to break up with him you still want to continue dating him and you're just kind of like gonna ignore them mm -hmm. the gestures of, that they're giving you about to breaking up with him and stuff like that is mm -hmm. that am i hearing you correctly yes okay and you just plan on just ignoring them with that those gestures oh well, i'm trying what well, I don't know, I guess I don't really want to ignore mm -hmm. them too because I want it to be soft, but then mm -hmm. I don't know what else to do. Okay. They just don't really want to listen to me because they want me to break up with them. What does your boyfriend think about this situation? Does he know that your parents don't like him? He does, and he just told me it's okay. He, he wants to talk to them, but then... He never wanted to talk to them, so it's kind of hard to get them together. So he tried mm -hmm. before already? Well, I told my parents before that he wants to talk to them, but mm -hmm. then they just didn't like that idea, so we just never got to it. Oh, okay. So your boyfriend wants to talk to them about that, you know, he's a nice um, person. Yeah, he, he just want to meet them, because okay. they haven't meet, meet before. So you guys, oh, so they haven't, like, they haven't met your boyfriend face-to-face -face yet? No. Okay. They just saw him drop me off sometimes, mm -hmm. and we talk, and so I told Well, obviously, they saw that he was mm -hmm. alive, but I did that then. No, we never talked face-to-face -face before. Oh, okay. So your boyfriend does want to meet your parents. He does. want to yeah. talk to them about mm -hmm. him being with you. Mm -hmm. So it's, I sense that he wants to, like, for them to... Like kind of get to know him too, oh, yeah. and yes, he, he wants them mm -hmm. to approve uh, of you guys being mm -hmm. together. So that's really nice. Yeah. Um, and do you think your parents um, will ever think about get coming in and trying to like solve the problem, mm -hmm. giving him a chance or anything like that? I don't know. They might, but then as of right now, it seems like they don't really want to. Can you tell me a little bit more about your, your relationship with your parents? Um, I'm the only child. We've mm -hmm. been really close um, ever since I was born. Um, we do a lot of holidays together mm -hmm. on the weekends. We spend time with each other. Mm -hmm. But it's just been um, recently where um, I'm, I've been dating my boyfriend and they haven't been agreeing. So just trying to avoid them during the weekends, you know, my boyfriends or just go over to my parents' house. So how does, like, ever since you dated your boyfriend, how mm -hmm. has your relationship with your parents changed? Like, do you feel like they're not talking to you anymore? Or? Well, they try to talk to me, but then mm -hmm. I just, I don't really want to talk to them that much, too, because whenever we talk, they always bring up the subject of me bringing up my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So I've been, you can say I've been avoiding them. Oh, okay. So. It must be really hard and frustrating to be trying to be with both people. Put, like, yeah. just be with both people, mm -hmm. and then another one's, like, trying to tell mm -hmm. you you can't be with them or something like that. And and how does your boyfriend think? Does he think that um, you guys should kind of, like... Um, he's he been telling me to um, talk, try to talk to my parents more, but mm -hmm. I tell them they don't want to listen, so he really... Um, he wants me to go and talk to my parents, but I don't feel like I want to because they just don't agree right now, so... Does his parents know that he's dating you? Yes. Okay. And they don't they're, mind? They're all right with it. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that with, like, cultural, traditional mm -hmm. backgrounds and dating someone other, other than your own background mm -hmm. race, it kind of gets kind of um, really hard with <laughs> traditional parents because mm -hmm. they don't want to break off from that traditional yeah. background they have. They want to keep it generating going and everything. So it must be really hard dealing with parents like that. Yeah, I can understand from their point of view, but mm -hmm. they need to at least understand my point of view too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay, so what I'm hearing is that your parents, you guys, they had a really good relationship. Mm -hmm. You guys did a lot of um, family kind of things, but then ever since you started dating your boyfriend, um, it seems like everything is just kind of like, turn around like they're kind of against it's mm -hmm. like they're trying to they think he's a problem trying to mm -hmm. kind of like get rid of him or something like that so i can see why like your relationship with them has totally shifted mm -hmm. and 
you want to be with your parents and you want to have a good relationship with them, but then it's hard to when they're just trying to like probe you and pressure you to do something that you don't want to do. So, okay. And everything I'm saying is correct. I'm not yes. missing out anything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think that we should probably uh, meet up again. And okay. I think we should probably have your parents come in too so they could hear what, mm-hmm. you know, what your feelings are and what you're thinking about the situation. And I think that we could uh, probably work on the relationship between you and your parents because that's probably that's what the focus is right now. Okay. Nice. Should I bring in my boyfriend I, too? I think you should bring your boyfriend okay. too. He's comfortable with that, and if your parents, I think he'll like. If your parents are mm-hmm. comfortable with that too, then it's really great that mm-hmm. everyone's coming in. And everyone okay. can hear what everybody's feeling and mm-hmm. thinking, and can really help building, rebuilding that relationship mm-hmm. again. So that's great. I'm really glad that so you came and talked to me. About should this I tell my parents to come with me, or are you gonna call them? Or how is that gonna work out? Um. It's totally up to you. If you feel like your parents, like, you want to mm-hmm. have, tell your own, ask your own parents, you could go ahead and do that. Mm-hmm. Or else I could call and request that and see if they will come in at all. I think you should. Okay. You should. I could definitely do yeah, that for you. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you can also let them know that my boyfriend is coming, too. Okay. <laughs> Beforehand for me. Yes. So they don't get sidetracked uh, or anything. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Nancy, for coming in to see me. And thank hopefully... You. I get to meet your parents and your boyfriend. Yeah, thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Mm